That's me 10 years ago with my first webcam, reading the manual circa 1996. I used it as a digital camera. I had to run around with it attached to my laptop for it to work. My first digital camera was a huge improvement. With the webcams, I discovered those online video chats. They were called reflectors, and they were the precursors to Skype and other voiceover IP tools that we use today. I was using one about 10 years ago with a friend, and a stranger pinged me, and they wanted to private chat. And I clicked on OK before I saw his nickname, which was uh, Full Moon. But it, that's not exactly what I saw when I opened the chat window. Well, anyway, I picked up a webcam recently because you can use it for screencasting. You can insert a real-life video of yourself into the screen. See? That's what it looks like. Tacky, huh? So I figured I'd test it with Skype, and uh, Teresa Crawford offered to test it with me. Skype is a little piece of software that allows you to call anyone in the world using the internet for free. You can download the software for free too, and it's easy to install and easy to use. All you need is a computer, internet access, and a little microphone, and you can talk to anybody in the world. And if you have a webcam, you can see them. So once you install it, you have that little green icon on the bottom right, and that pops up your Skype window, and it kind of looks like any kind of instant messenger type tool. You have your contact list, and you just simply click on a contact. You hit that little green call button, and you call them. And that's what I did. I called Teresa, and she offered to help me. All right. Okay, Teresa, we're ready to go. Um, and now you know what happened? Is your, um, can you still hear me? Yep, I can still hear you. Okay, because now I can't see you. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Okay, so click, can you see where a button that says start my video? Uh, let's see. Yep. It's right near where it yep. says call duration. Okay, there you go. Something just, okay, it just went kind of dark. Now I can see you. It just, can I can't you? see you. Okay, let me stop my video and I'll start it again. Hold on. Oh, wait, I can see myself. <laughs> Yeah. And now yeah. I see you. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> can you hear me? Now you can. Yeah, I can hear you too. Okay, so basically I'm just clicking on that start my video yeah, button. Okay. Yeah. Tell me, how are you using this? I use it, one, to chat with a friend of mine who was stationed in Baghdad. So he's in Iraq and we just chat when he's free. So that's a nice thing to do. I also use it a lot for secure communication. So I'm working on a project in a country where we don't want, where we can't get out what we're working on. So we use Skype securely because of the security. What else am I using it for for video? Um, yeah, talking with my friends in Georgia for work and stuff. and talking with the guys in Bulgaria whenever we have website design stuff that we're working on. So, yeah, it's just nice when you haven't seen anybody in a while to see their face and what they're doing. And so do you think it, like. it does it offer more than chat, do you think? I mean, do you think it's more effective? Is it worth it? Is it worth a hundred bucks for a camera? <laughs> you know, my camera was like 50 bucks and I got the Logitech like middle of the road one. I didn't get the cheapest one or the most expensive one. And for personal relationships with people, I think it's absolutely better than chat. Not all the time because you don't you don't need it all the time. But yeah, I have this the, the relationship with Caledon in Bulgaria. We've known each other for like four years now. It's nice to see each other, you know, and have him say, "Wow, have you lost weight? What are you doing?" You know, say, hey, where's that? hey, by the way, you look great. Um, you look great. <laughs> Okay, um, I what I was I should just tell you too that what I was doing while I, while I was fumbling around is that I put my screen capture software on, and um, can I publish this <laughs> or not? Yeah, yeah, no, go ahead, please. Oh, great, cool. Part about asking people about you know if they lost weight or where did that beard come from? Well, you know what I want? I want like a background that shows my office really neat or like in a cool place. And, and now you realize, like, oh, like, I'm having a bad hair day. I better fix my hair, and I better clean up my mess on my desk. Totally. And this used to be my daughter's nursery. 
and it's really, really small. It's like working in a little cave. So yeah, it would be nice if I had the backdrop of like, you know, the big window looking out at the, you know, ocean or the woods or something instead. You know, it's like a big bookcase. And, yeah, well, this is a really, it's a really cool tool. And well, I really thank you, Teresa Crawford, a nonprofit technology consultant who works around the world and uses cool tools like Skype with video. Thanks.